are handling an oil change. Let's get this uh, little beast elevated. I'm gonna use some ramps. Um, if you're gonna jack up the car, please use jack stands so you don't risk the car falling on you. But um, I'm gonna use some ramps here. I'm a little low, but I'll make it work. All right, guys, so let's get right to business. Let's pop hood open. All right, guys, so this is how we're looking. I'm gonna remove this intake pipe out of the way so that way we can have access to the oil filter down below. All right, guys, so I got that intake pipe out the way now we can see the oil filter housing there down below um, it's going to be a 27 millimeter socket you're just going to slide it right onto the um, the housing right here like so and you're you are going to use this hole here I do not remove the headlight because it's a pain in the butt. It's connected to the bumper. Um, so what I do is I get a half inch to a three eighths step down because my socket is half inch to allow me to get some extra space in here. So let's get this on through the hole like so. And then we have just enough play to um, just get in there like that. All right, so that is how you get to the oil filter. All right guys, so oil filter is out. I've got here a Fram. That is the part number if you guys are interested in using the same filter that I chose. And I also went with Liquid Molly's fully synthetic 5W40, which is my number one choice because I am a Beamer guy. And nothing's better than Liquid Molly, baby. Guys, so let's swap this filter out. All right, guys. So I swapped the O-ring, put in a new filter. We're going back, right back in. Just wiggle your way down, same way you came out. All right, guys, so now that the oil filter has been replaced, we will move on to draining the oil. So you want to take the cap off to remove any pressure. And then you're going to get under. You're going to need a deep socket 13 millimeter or a thir short 13 with a 3 8 extension because um, the strut bar can get in your way so that's why I choose to use a deep socket you're gonna remove the drain plug
All right, guys, so I'm about to start pouring in the oil. Um, remember that the uh, oil capacity is four quarts, but please, please, please check your dipstick. Um, according to your modifications, you can have a little bit more or a little bit less. Um, so yeah, just make sure uh, you guys check the oil dipstick. But four quarts is the standard oil capacity. Let's get to it. All right guys, oil is in. Make sure you guys start your engine for a few seconds. Um, and then double check the oil level to make sure it's not low. All right guys, so if you guys want to get rid of that reset oil light, all you have to do is have the car off ignition on and you are going to depress the accelerator like so three times one two three and then you will notice that your oil change light um, will go away and that's it guys pretty straightforward and simple thanks for watching